welcome to my new video lecture here we will see the CLV method well if you don't get my part 1 video well then I hope after this lecture you can get it proper those are the basic actually and if you don't understand the real thing behind you may face many puzzles so I touch those particular points like why it gets advanced or uh, it's a normal processes likewise okay then let's get started today we discuss about these three points in detail yesterday there was a question that why this method is under morphological type of detection method to get its answer understand this topic thoroughly it is the introduction of CLB method first I have written Herman Joseph Muller who is he the American geneticist he worked on physiological and genetic effect on radiation that is mutagenesis and for this he got Nobel Prize and uh, his main focus is on a uh, CLB method he devised this method in 1927 he devised devised mean planning he planned this method in 1927 and he got the Nobel Prize for this that 1946 so this method is very very important so we're gonna discuss it in 1927 H.J. Muller invented this CLB method and uh, in 1946 he got Nobel Prize for this. He used unequivocal demonstration for this mutagenic action of X-rays. Means unequivocal means a clear and demonstrator means the evidence. So he took all the clear evidence to prove his theory, to prove his experiment. Okay, he took the mutagenic action of X-rays. So let's know what is CLB uh, chromosome. So he took the female Drosophila, as I said before. Normally the female contain 2X chromosome. But here what he uh, has done that in female Drosophila, one normal chrom X chromosome is there one normal X chromosome and another is treated with CLB so it is called CLB chromosome this is the recessive X chromosome okay so it contains one normal X chromosome and another one is CLB X chromosome and the female Drosophila contains the CLB X chromosome is called CLB stroke Drosophila means after treating with CLB X chromosome the female Drosophila are stocked or kept okay for the uh, next experiments and this is this CLB X chromosome is the recessive X chromosome that is the lethal mutation so what is the lethal mutation is we know that lethal mutation is of four types there are four varieties of lethal mutation a mutation on the basis of survival effect survival effect so on the basis of survival effect the, the lethal mu mutation is of four types so what are those one is lethal then sublethal vital subvital so i said this is the lethal mutation so what do you mean by lethal mutation where the rate of chances of survival is zero percent there is no survival chances there lethal mutation is that which kill the individual that carries the lethal gene if somebody have the lethal gene then it killed so what he done that he identified the lethal mutation in X chromosome he identified this lethal mutation this lethal kind of mutation where the survival is completely zero there is no chances to no chances of survival there he identified this X chromosome as lethal gene a female has the homozygotic condition of uh, chromosome the the arrangement uh, means the there are two X chromosome are there but what he did he changed it into heterozygous condition means a normal X chromosome and another one is CLB X chromosome means for this treatment he took uh, x-ray to induce in sex linked recessive lethal 
mutations in Drosophila melanogaster. He developed here a technique is called CLB method. It has three components C, L and B where C refers to crossover suppressor. Crossover suppressor means it's a long inversion is made in the chromosome that prevents the recombination of the genetic markers that uh, uh, on the CLB chromosome and the alleles on the normal X chromosome. Make sure that the CLB chromosome stay together through the meiosis too. And the L stand for recessive lethal. Where this recessive lethal gene is present, there is no chances of survival. And B stands for the presence of partially dominant character that is the bar I phenotype. B means the bar I phenotype. Because Drosophila have the compound and round eye um, shape but some of uh, those cases they have the bar uh, bar shape eye bar eye shape means the it um, may be narrow or uh, slit shaped it is also a dominant character but it is the partially dominant character so this is the reason why he detect the mutation through morphological mutation method because he chosen the eye shape as the morphological character Clear your doubts in comment section below and if you really get benefited through these lectures then do like share and subscribe my channel.